Coming up next on Look Today, the Capital Region EDC held a meeting at SUNY Adirondack this morning and our cameras were on the scene. Plus, the Greensbury Spartans football team were practicing this morning and we talked with head coach John Arion about this year's team. And village officials in Lake George are still looking for those responsible for vandalizing property. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, area business leaders, politicians, and local officials gathered at SUNY Adirondack for a town hall meeting regarding the Upstate Revitalization Initiative. Well, the Warren County EDC and Capital Region EDC and the Adirondack Chamber of Commerce held a meeting to discuss the initiative, a one-time grant offering $500 million to three winning regions. Well, Bill Hart of Irving Tissue discussed the steps to submitting a final plan, and Andrew Meter offered a statistical outlook of the region. And Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew discussed the group's plan with Look Today. Well, I think number one, the continued uh, focus on advanced manufacturing. We have medical devices of CR, BARD, and angiodynamics in our area. We have tremendous healthcare facilities with Glens Falls Hospital and Hudson Headwater. Uh, together, those uh, two uh, types of industries I've talked about represents about 5,500 jobs in the area. Well, this, my friends, is a big one. If the capital region is to be awarded a grant, the group would receive $100 million a year for the next five years. Ed Bartholomew said that the winning plan could be selected as soon as October. We'll keep you updated on this story weekly as the process unfolds. We'll now change it to news to weather. After a cloudy and cool morning, sun and warm temperatures settled in over the region this afternoon. How's the midweek forecast shaping up? Well, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, officials in Lake George are still seeking information regarding vandalism of property. Village leaders say that for the past month, the two public restrooms have been vandalized multiple times. However, just last Thursday, the graffiti spread to the women's room. Now, as we reported last week, Mayor Bob Blaze said that the cost to clean up the graffiti can cost between $2,000 and $3,000. And according to DPW Superintendent Dave Harrington, the vandalism in the women's room was done on a stone wall, which is especially difficult to remove. Graffiti was found in Shepherd's Park on Monday night as well. Well, the village discussed paying a restroom attendant or installing surveillance cameras at their board meeting on Monday. In sports, the Queensbury Spartans were hard at work learning and running plays this morning, and our cameras caught the end of the third day of Spartans football practice. Coach John Arion has participated in the Class A state finals the past two years, winning the championship in 2013. Now, with that success in mind, we asked Coach Arion what his expectations are for this year's team. I think we'll be getting better as the season goes on, maybe more than some teams. But our first four games with uh, Troy, Amsterdam, Loversville, and Burnt Hills, that's going to that's gonna tell a lot. Now, we will broadcast from the Queensbury High School twice this year, when the Spartans take on the Amsterdam Rams and when they take on South Glens Falls Bulldogs. Coming, up, coming tomorrow, we catch up with the Corinth Tomahawks as they get ready to play rival Lake George Hadley Luzerne on September 4, our opening season game. Still to come, Glens Falls Civic Center manager Jeff Mead joins us to discuss his homecoming and the new improvements to the arena. Plus, Cindy Harrington and Rosemary Reedhammer are here from Shelters of Saratoga to discuss the Centennial Soiree. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Woo! 